All right, yo, you know who be? It's your boy, Coville, and representing the GameCircuit.com. I figured I would bring you some Tekken footage. So these are matches that I've played and I've recorded, and then I just wanted to go back and analyze them, talk to you guys about them, and then maybe drop some comments, let me know how the, how the match play was, and how you're enjoying the content, or if you're not enjoying the content, I mean, either or, drop me a comment, let, uh, let me know. Uh, but these are pre-recorded matches, so I am not playing, I would just be providing commentary on my matches, and telling you what I'm thinking at the, at the spur of the moment, um, maybe strategies, or, or you know how I'm feeling about the match, and then go from there. So, without further ado, Let's get into this here. Get ready for the next battle. Battle, battle, battle. So, I believe I was playing with Noctis. So, I started playing with Noctis, and I felt like I felt like Noctis was was a pretty good character. And so I decided to start playing with them online and trying to trying to rank them up. Uh, so this is one of the matches that I played, and it's it's against a Miguel player. Um, and I think I played this this player uh, quite a few times, but I decided to record this match here for for whatever reason. Um, and so, yeah, we're just gonna get into the match. We're just gonna check it out. But he he was a pretty good Miguel player, I I believe. And so, people have asked me, um, you know, have you stopped playing with Gigas? Oh, excuse me, he's got something in my eye. Okay. So people start uh, start asking me, are you are you not playing with Gigas anymore? I'm like, no, no, I am still playing with Gigas. At the end of the day, I don't care what tier you put my character at, I am still going to play with Gigas because A, I enjoy him, and B, uh, I feel like I do fairly decent with them, even though some of the matches that I play are, you know, lopsided um, in the favor of the opponent. Uh, but I think that's what makes it fun is overcoming those um, statistics. So, all right, so we into the match here. And so I noticed um, right there, this guy, he might he might like to press buttons. Ooh, that was good. And so I, I can I can tell you my what, what I'm thinking right now. I'm like, okay. My first, whenever I play somebody, my first thing is just to throw out um, particular moves, jabs, um, short pokes and whatnot to see if my opponent really likes to press buttons. See if they just like to mash. Because that's I did. If you got an opponent who likes to mash buttons, most likely they're, they're going to get caught with the with the counter at some point. Are right, we in there? Oh, that was a good combo. Got him down to half life. Oh, I tried to mash right there. Ooh, low parry. You know what? That was like the weakest combo I could have did right there. I'm, I'm pretty sure I could have extended that combo or did a different combo for, for more damage. Oh, did he just taunt me? He sit down, homie. <laughs> sit your ass down. Alright, so at this point, I, I feel like I have a good read on him. Oh, that, that I, I screwed that combo up. Oh, that that was a good good low parry by him. That's the second time that he's caught me with that. Yeah, he he was he was fishing for that uh for that counter. See, it just just as expected. Ooh, again, homie. You wanna do it again? One more time? <laughs> Get out of here. <laughs> Get him out of here. So I was right in my assumption about my opponent. That my opponent does like the like the press buttons, and he does like to finish his strings, which is which is not a good thing. Nah, get off me. Get your hands off me. Alright, that was good. I, di I didn't break that. But so I noticed, I was like, okay, he likes the mash buttons. He likes to finish his strings. 
So we just need to be we just need to be cautious of that. Okay, nice. Catch him out the air. Push him back to the to the wall. That last hit didn't connect there. It was just like an, an, an awkward combo. There we go. Mm-hmm. I'm pretty sure I could have launched right there. Yeah, he, he was he was trying. Yeah, so I caught him with the rage art right there, right? And so I knew from previous matches that he likes to to, to continue to press buttons back there, you know, even when he's not in range. So I figured, why not let the rage art go? All right, yeah, right now he's going in. Oh, caught him ducking. That was kind of like an awkward exchange right there. <laughs> All right, so yeah, noticing his play style, he really likes to be oppressive and likes to dominate and likes to continue pressing buttons. And, and that's fine, that's fine if that's your play style. So I just know um, at a certain point, um, we should we should probably start setting them up for our frame traps. Oh, right back at you. So when you, when you notice an opponent likes to mash buttons or they like to mash in a certain scenario, I would usually try to set my opponent up for some type of frame trap to um, to get the counter hit so I can get the big damage. See, like in that instance right there. I got I got smart. I, I didn't finish the last hit. I mean, it probably would have hit. It probably would have hit, but I remember uh, the, the couple combos ago that it kind of landed me in an awkward spot when it missed. So I'd rather just take the guaranteed damage and not be in an awkward spot than to try to get the damage and then if I uh, if I don't get the last hit, end up in an awkward spot. So so if you look at the score uh, round count wise, it's it's two one. Missed that, um, but now I feel like I have a a good read on, on my opponent. Ooh, so I see I seen that before. That was that was a good side step. That was a really good side step. I can't believe I fell for that. There we go. That counter hit. Yeah, I shouldn't even went for that right there. Um, in, in that combo, because it wasn't against the wall. That's more or less um, against the wall combo. I tried the counter. I don't think this is going to kill. I will have some life left, I believe. Again, he likes to press buttons. And that's the only reason why I did the rage art and then afterwards um, did the did the, the dagger throw. Alright, so on to on to a new opponent here. And it looks like it looks like we have some lag already. But it it looks it looks playable. Uh, it looks like I continue playing, so it, it might not be that bad. <laughs> it might not be that bad, right? <laughs> Alright, a little, little good perfect. Thing about perfects is don't don't let them rattle you. I'm not gonna lie. I've been oh my god, we're like playing underwater here. I've been perfect three times in a row. I, I'm not gonna lie. It's hap it's happened a couple times. Um, my opponent just had that good of a read on me. Um, but don't don't let that rattle you. Because at the end of the day, perfects are just like, oh my god, really? Perfects are are to to let you know like okay, 
you, you kind of messed up during that game. You didn't press the right buttons. And some, sometimes it, it could happen three times in a row. <laughs> I'm, I'm not going to lie. All right, so I, part of the problem with playing this guy here is that we, we got lag, right? And so even if, I try to, if I'm trying to, to break something, um, my frame count might not, you know, be on point to, you know, to break it because of the lag. So, and I don't know why I continued to play this match. I think I was just like, all right, well, I'm already here. I might as well just try to finish it out. I don't really like disconnecting um, my matches, even if it's bad lag. I'd rather just play like the one match and just take the loss and then call it a day. But clearly, this guy, you can tell from his, his um, I believe, like his indicator, he's on Wi-Fi, right? And so this is a this is one reason why people don't like to play people on Wi-Fi. It's be because of this issue right here. And while I'm, I'm not going to take away from this guy's skills, I mean, I'm, I'm not. I mean, he he looked like he knew he knew what he was doing. Uh, the lag uh, indicator uh, was was definitely. Well, not the lag indicator, but the lag in the match uh, it definitely played a, played a part in giving him the advantage. And some people will actually use that lag to play to their benefit, which is which is kind of cheating. And here's the thing. I don't mind playing on Wi-Fi, you know, playing Wi-Fi players. You know, as long as your connection's fucking decent, that's, that's all that I ask. At the end of the day, I don't really worry about wins or losses. I just worry about learning and good matches and, and being competitive. So if you're playing on Wi-Fi and your connection is decent, it doesn't have to be great. But as long as it's decent, like, I'm good. So, like, this guy right here, so far, his connection his connection's good. So I'm like, yo, I'll play you a bunch of times if your connection's good. But if we start lagging, um, nah, I, I, I got to kick you out, bro. Or I gotta get I gotta get out the um, out the session with you. Ooh, with that with that flying knee, he he probably would have caught me because I I did do a micro duck. Oh, nice little tombstone. Now see. Here, here's here's where he messed up. So after his tombstone, he should have tried to follow up with a low kick. Why? Because it would only took one hit to kill me. So instead of trying to follow up and, you know, finish the match, he let me get up. Which in turn, I stole the match. And so that's one thing you want to do, is you don't want to give your opponent any free matches. So at this point... He's putting under pressure. I have the round count, and so he he's doing what he's supposed to be, what he's supposed to do. Put under pressure. Don't let me gather my thoughts and um, what I'm trying to do. Oh, he tried it. That was so risky. That spear, that spear. I I forget it's 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 negative though. I think it's like negative 13 or something like that, but it's that was that was risky. Should have did a, a, a different move right there. Oh, nice. Oh, punish. Alright. Oh, nice. Good counter. Oh, no. What a miss. What a miss. Got him. Alright, watch the special effects. Got him. Hell yeah. <laughs> So Noctis is a, is a he's a really good character, kind of awkward to use, um, but but is is a really good character. Oh, nice. 
nice. Ooh, ooh, got, got the mix up. Oh, nice. Oh, he, he was trying to break the wall. Yeah, I got to get better at the throw breaks. Ooh, sit down, homie. Huh? Sit down. <laughs> oh, my God. Wow. That was a good read on his part. That was that was a good read. Ooh, nice sidestep. Alright, going downstairs. Oh, going downstairs again. Ah, oh, that was that was whack. I, I could've I could have definitely did something else. And so when practicing it's 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 a good idea to practice with your character against the wall and figure out your maximum potential damage that you can get when you you know splatter your opponent against the wall because you don't want to leave any damage on the table right you want to try to get the maximum maximum amount of damage possible when um, when you're in certain situations you know like when you splatter your opponent against the wall that is now 100% your opportunity to inflict to inflict max damage uh, to your opponent and also to try to set your opponent up uh, for another counter combo or for a grab or for whatever shenanigan that you're trying to do um, so you should you should practice multiple I want to say um, options you know as far as what could happen against the wall right so if your opponent um, if you're after you inflict uh, max damage um, what are your options at that point you know and it, 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 it varies depending on your opponent and you and the situation that you're in because there are some oh god damn <laughs> he launched me um, there, there are some some opportunities or let me rewind that some scenarios in which after you inflict your damage your opponent is on the floor or your opponent is um, against the wall still so it depends on you know your combo and, and, and what you do so if you notice I'll, I'll try to point it out um, next time and give you certain scenarios like when I did my combo my opponent was on the ground so what are, what are my options there can I set him up for something just in case he presses a button coming up or what if he just automatically stands up right doesn't do anything or whether what it what if he crouches um, you know when he when he gets up so those are all options that I have to think about and see and, and see if I can predict and try to take advantage of when uh, that opportunity happens Ooh. that was a bad whiff and he didn't capitalize off of that that's another thing too is that you need to capitalize off of your opponent's mistakes. Ooh. See, he's got me with this uh, quite quite a few times. Ooh. Oh, look at that! <laughs> so that that's another thing you want to practice your your punishment because again you don't want to leave anything on the table for your opponent to to capitalize off of you know um, and you want to take all the damage possible especially if it's free damage all right playing against that uh, an Akuma here vanquisher All right, so I'm already starting to get a feel for this, this Akuma. Okay, so you can tell some some players are just looking for that one launch combo, right? Looking for that one launch combo so they can so they can do their combo so they can feel like they're playing the game. At the lower levels, that's what Tekken is. At the higher levels, 
you are creating your openings for for that combo right so he's just trying to do it raw like hoping you know i'll just fall right into it and at the higher levels it doesn't it doesn't work like that you have to set yourself up for that and you see he keeps doing it over and over and so he's probably wondering at this point like how come i can't catch him with that you, you see what i mean and so that move right there that's something you have to set up and so so he, he got it right there and and that move is it's probably used better for a punish than just to do it raw and what I mean by do it raw is just, you know, walk up and be like, hey, I'm just going to do this combo so I can try to launch you. Do you see what I mean? That That's all he's doing. So I, I know at this point, he he's not really a intuitive um, Akuma player because he keeps doing the same move over and over. Now, if this move was working, that would be one thing because you don't want to ditch a plan where your where your move is 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 working uh but clearly this guy did not you know didn't get the get the message like hey your move is not working you need to try something different you know what i mean so but that is all the matches that i have for today so i want to thank you guys for tuning in once again it's your boy covillain representing the game .com. if you enjoyed the content by all means, please follow me on social media. So that is YouTube, Twitter, Twitch, Facebook, and Discord. I mainly stream on YouTube. I'm starting to stream on Facebook. I will get around to Twitch one day. Um, but join the Discord. Check out the uh, the website because uh, I got merch and all that great stuff. Uh, so if you're a gamer and want to check out the merch and want some cool looking stuff, I suggest going to the website there. But again, thank you for tuning in. I will provide you more content. Jack and Seven. So I'm outro. Take care.